Hey traders, Jake from Optimus Futures here, and I'm pleased to announce that we've begun working with DXFeed as a data feed option on the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now, this video is going to be a quick tutorial and show you how to sign up for DXFeed and also show you how to connect to the data feed on Optimus Flow. So, if you haven't already stumbled across it, this is our new DX feed page. If you're interested, feel free to read all the great information on this data feed and what it brings to the table. And this video is going to assume that, of course, you have begun to sign up for DX feed. If you haven't already and you are interested, feel free to visit our page here. You can scroll down just a bit and then go ahead and click on the subscribe to DX feed plus Optimus Flow button down below. When you go ahead and click on that, it will ask you to fill out a form. So go ahead, sign up your information here. And then once you're done, go ahead and click on get DX feed. Now, I would like to mention that you will need to sign in um, and create yourself an account if you haven't already. So you may want to go ahead and do that now. If you don't, when we go ahead and click continue here, it'll just ask you to do that on the next page. And then you'll need to confirm um, through email that that is you who signed up for an account. So feel free to take care of that now if you'd like, or you can do it on the next step. Either way, this is the subscription page for DX feed. So there's a couple things you'll need to do here. First, you'll need to declare your status as a professional or a non-professional. You can go ahead and do that here. And then we need to go ahead and select on the different data feed option types. So as you can see, there's a couple variants to each exchange. We have the full CME group or the full CME bundle. And then we have top of book variants as well. Basically, the main difference is top of book does not give you any bid or ask data on your dome. Or I should only say it gives you the last bid and ask price. So if you are a trader that uses the dome for any of your analysis, you may want to consider using the market depth option. But if not, you will save some money using the top of book variant as well. So essentially, all you need to do is choose the exchanges that you'd like to have access to on DX feed. Go ahead and check that off. And then you can scroll down a bit, agree to their terms and agreements, and then you can go ahead and click continue. Now, like I mentioned right there, if you hadn't already, you would be asked to go ahead and create an account. I already signed in, so I avoided that step. So just keep that in mind. Next up, you'll just go ahead and submit all your personal information. Once again, agree to their subscriptions, and then you can go to the payout page. Now, I'm not going to go through that step because, of course, that is all sensitive information. You can go ahead and add a credit card in order to subscribe to the data. And then once you do, DXFeed will follow up with you with several emails. And let me show you what those look like. So when you go ahead and pull up these emails, there's going to be a couple things. First, you're going to get a confirmation email that your payment was successfully received. It looks a little bit like this and will give you a receipt as well. As you can see, it just gives you the transaction ID, the seller ID, the order ID, the date, time, things like that. You can see your subscriptions as well, excuse me, to go ahead and verify you chose, you know, the data of your choice. Then from there, we'll follow up with a couple other emails. You'll also get from DXFeed your credentials for the Optimus Flow application. So as you can see here, it's just going to be real simple. It's going to give you your login and then your password. Finally, they'll also send you a nice little example. If you haven't watched my video here, that'll show you essentially how to connect to DXFeed on Optimus Flow. It's very easy to do, and I'll show you here in just a second. Essentially, all you're going to do is take the username and password they give you throw them into Optimus Flow, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like on the platform side of things. All we really need to do is, once again, we need to go ahead, pull up the platform, and as you can see, I'm actually already connected here. If you haven't done this before, I'm assuming that you would not be connected to DX Feed. So in order to um, get connected to their data feed, of course, you're going to go ahead and right-click on the top of the window and go to Connections. If you see Rhythmic or DX Feed up here, you can click those options as well. If you don't, this is the best option. Right click on the toolbar at the top of your page, go to connections, and then you're gonna wanna choose DX Feed as your option. So as you can see, I'm already connected. You can see my ping here, which is great, but for you, you probably will have nothing. So all you're gonna do is go ahead and copy and paste the credentials from this email here, throw them into the DX Feed box on Optimus Flow, and then go ahead and click connect. You shouldn't really have any reason to click on connection settings or register account. 
as long as you've gone to this stage, you should be okay to go ahead and connect with the credentials that you've just purchased. Go ahead and click connect. Give it a second here, and then it'll pop up. Now, one thing I like to do for any data feed on Optimus Flow is to go ahead and click the star next to DX feed. What that'll go and do, just so you can see, if you notice that actually adds the DX feed option up in the top right hand corner of the Optimus Flow platform window. So that will essentially show you your status to DX feed and show you the ping and latency that you're receiving. So that way you can tell if you're getting poor connections or anything like that and address it from there. Just my two cents and it gives you a little shortcut button. That way you can access DX feed without having to go through the connection manager. Finally, all you really need to do in if you are coming from a di different data feed, you may need to reconfigure your charts or your watch list and things like that to go ahead and add DX feed symbols. As you can see, the DX feed symbols are essentially the same ones that the exchange uses. They just go ahead and add an X in front of it. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add the E-mini SMP 500. I'll go ahead and go down to the CME option. Like I mentioned, it has an X in front of it. We'll go ahead and open up futures. And then we just need to scroll in alphabetical order. There we see it, EX and CME. We'll just go ahead and click on the contract we'd like to add. You can do so for the front month, so it'll just add the currently traded month or the most liquid month, no matter what. Or if you want to look down you know, to the future and look at a forward you know, contract month down the line, you can do that too. So we can go ahead and click on our front month for the E-mini S&P 500 futures, and there we go. You can see the data is populating on my dome. I have the full market depth variant, as you can tell all my bid and ask data is populating in and we also have our dx feed on our chart as well for the es and that's going to wrap it up the process is very simple like i said you could start from our website if you'd like and go ahead and you know go through our page and fill this out and that's about wraps it up for this video guys if you have any questions on this please let me know we'll gladly help you out any way possible you can post your questions on the community forum. You can post them down in the comment section down below and we'll gladly assist you. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.